Boom! Cha cha, fun day. We're back again. No more hooky mites. Keeping up with the Puanga Mara as we journey through Kahau Itao, an Indigenous e-commerce program. So I'm just here today to talk to you a little bit about what we learnt from um, our belief changer this week. This week's belief changer was Jen Harper. She is a wahine from a Iwi Take Take in Ontario, Canada, and she is also the founder and CEO of Cheekbone Beauty. So stay tuned, fun day, to hear a little bit more about what we learnt. So far, Jen Harper's all was amazing. She's a total inspiration. She was raw, she was real, and she allowed herself to be vulnerable in front of the class. I believe this helped us to connect to her story more and empowered us in the mahi that we do too. Um, some of the things that really resonated with me in terms of her um, all and her mahi were around the ethos of sustainability and ensuring that every tamaiti that has an indigenous background sees their value and their worth. Um, another thing that really stood out for me from her kōrero was her constant reflection on how we need to be consistent in doing mahi every day for the business um, and to do things that are difficult for us so we can learn and we can grow. Yeah, so whānau, I think one of the biggest things that I took away from Fire Jen's kōrero was around the tensions between being Indigenous and trying to operate in a, a capitalist system. So. I think this is a tension that a lot of Indigenous people would face in the space of business and she just mentioned that if you are investing where your values lie, then everything else should fall out of that. No reira, nei ranga mihi, ka kite! Kia ora te whanau, back with another kahau video. Hopefully you aren't getting hoha with all the uploads, but yeah, here we go. So every week we have a belief changer come on and share some kōrero with us. This week um, we had a wahine named Jen Harper. She talked about a few different kaupapa, but I think the thing that really stood out for me was her kōrero on transgenerational trauma and how we kind of can pick up unhealthy coping mechanisms from the generations that come before us, whether that's our parents, our grandparents, or even our caregivers, whoever kind of raised us. So Jen believes that we can overcome transgenerational trauma. Oh my gosh, that's a flash kapu. Transgenerational trauma by... Um, so the first part is having the right support networks within the community. The next part is to kind of have resilience, hope and strength, kind of showing up as your best self and giving things your all and believing that um, you can make a change rather than feeling sorry for yourself. Another kōrero that she talks about is building your courage muscle. So in order to build our courage muscle, there's like three aspects to it. You kind of got to find your drive. Then you have to do hard things that challenge you. And then the third one is to refine and master that. And then that will help you kind of find your purpose in what you're doing. And then once we've healed ourselves, she encourages us to share our personal story as well as our business story so we can relate to people. Um, and also just so we can share that healing with others. So when you heal yourself, she talks about sharing how we've healed ourselves because we never know who it might help out there. So yeah, that's that. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. Mauri ora whanau, kia pai o koutou rā. Hey guys, so before I knock out, thought I'd just quickly jump on and share my learnings from our belief changer, Dean Harper. She was freaking incredible. Um, so... Four things, just real quick. Consistent daily effort is the key to creating anything successful and that if you do not give up, you cannot fail. Two, there is no tragedy that can't be overcome with the right support of a loving community. And hope is believing that tomorrow will be better. And not just believing it, but you every day will resolve to make tomorrow better. So showing up as your best self. And last but not least the meaning of your life is to find your gift and the purpose of your life is to share it cheers